going to be part two of exposing the satanic cult that is the Westboro Baptist Church. I did part one where I showed some just blasphemous quotes from their deceased pastor who is dead now and in hell. Uh, Fred Phelps where he's exalting the teachings and heresies of John Calvin above the scriptures and saying that there's no gospel aside from Calvinism and sh showing that it's just wicked heresy. But Peter, the Apostle Peter, warned about false prophets coming. For 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 1. But they were false prophets among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Perfect description. They bring in damnable heresies. Calvinism is a damnable heresy. It denies fundamental truths of Scripture. Jesus Christ died for everyone. You know, uh, you know, people have the free will to accept or reject the accept or reject the gospel. Calvinism denies that. 2 Corinthians 11.4 And it says they bring upon themselves their own destruction. Fred Phelps is in hell right now. 2 Corinthians 11.4 For if he that cometh preacheth, preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye received another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with them. And of course, Galatians chapter 1, verses 6 to 9. I marvel that ye are so, so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there shall be uh, some that trouble you that would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any of the gospel unto you, then that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. As uh, as we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that which ye have received, or that than that, you, that ye have received, let him be accursed. I do apologize, I'm not the best at reading on a computer. But Paul says, you know, don't receive the false gospel, let him be accursed. Okay? Fred Phelps preached a false gospel, I showed that in my last video. They teach a heresy called Calvinism. And Calvinism is an antichrist, false false doctrine. It is satanic. It makes God a, it makes God look wicked. They teach that Jesus Christ did not die for everyone, when the Bible clearly teaches otherwise. The Bible teaches that Jesus Christ died for everyone. The Bible says that all men through Jesus Christ can be saved. John chapter one verses six to seven. John one six to seven. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear the witness of the light, that all men through, through him might believe. So all men can believe, not just the elect. John chapter 1, verse 29. The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him, and saith, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. So he takes away the, whole, the sin of the whole world, not just the elect. 1 John chapter 2, verses 1 to 2. 1 John 2, 1 to 2. My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the propitiation, not for, oh, sorry, for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. So not just the elect, the whole world. 1 John 4, 14. Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world. That's what the Bible teaches. 1 John 4, 14. And it says, oops, click the wrong button. 1 John 4, 14. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of his elect. Oh no, for a Savior of the certain, for a certain amount of people that God chose to be saved. Oh no, it doesn't say that. Um, the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. The whole world. Not just His elect. Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 9. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels, uh, for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that He, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. So every man He died for. The Bible says that God does not want anyone to perish. He wants all men to come to repentance. 1 Timothy 2, verses 3 to 4. 1 Timothy 2, 3 to 4. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. First, or 2 Peter chapter 3, 
verse 9. Second Peter 3, 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And of course, the Bible says that God is calling all men to repent. Acts 17.30 Acts 17.30 In the times of this ignorance, God winked death, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. All men, not just his elect. And, the Bible, and finally, the Bible teaches that Jesus Christ gave himself a ransom for all. First uh, Timothy chapter two verses five to six. First Timothy two, five to six. For there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. The Bible says he died for everyone. He tasted death for every man. He's the savior of the whole world, not just his elect. So Westboro Baptist Church, they are heretics. They do not believe the fundamental truth of scripture. They believe a false gospel of Calvinism. They believe the false gospel that is in the five points of Calvinism, that God, it's funny to go and preach the gospel, meanwhile they think God's just gonna choose who gets saved. So what's the point of preaching the gospel then? You see they contradict their own teaching. And also they have this doctrine that God is sovereign and controls everything, but then they're known for preaching against the sin of homosexuality. Well, by their own Calvinist logic, it was God's will for homosexuality. Because they say that it's sovereign, God just controls everything, everything that happens is God's will. Well, that's the case then when then the abominable crime of sodomy got legalized, that was God's will. So by their logic, I guess when abortion got legalized, that was God's will. Or when all these pedophile Catholic priests are raping kids, that was God's will. You know, wicked, totally wicked. They are, they are teaching a false gospel that is going to damn people to hell. And their, their pastor pastor Fred Phelps is in hell right now because he preached a false gospel I showed in the last video but he is preaching the gospel of Calvinism he's saying there's no true gospel aside from Calvinism so don't be deceived by the Westboro Baptist satanic cult that it is they are wicked and they're doing a lot a lot of damage to the body of Christ through their wicked nonsense so don't be deceived may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren goodbye Thank you.